Hi, Angela. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very well, teacher, and you, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How was your day today? My day is um, um, always with a lot of work in my work in my house. Okay, so you live with your two daughters and your mother? Yes, only... ¿Cómo diría solamente o solamente? Solo, solo. Just? No. Only? Only... Um, eh, in my house, I live with my mom and, and my daughter. Okay. Como una niña. Sí, como decirle. My daughter, my other daughter, I, she lives in New York. Okay. So you live with only one daughter? Yes. With, with my mom and one, one daughter. Okay, only women. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, Peter. Okay, and um, Claudia, you live with your father and soon with your boyfriend. Correct? Mm, I just live with my mom. No, no, I'm sorry. It wasn't. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, it was the other Claudia. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Yes, it's correct. Wait, porque no puedo ver a Claudia. How many people are connected? Oh, wait, I see, wait. Sir. I only see I only see Bird and Cloud. Maybe because you only have cameras. Hold on, let me let me check this. But also Angela. Yeah, Angela, camera. Angela, you and Bert. Oh, um, that, that, maybe that is the reason. Yes, I'm I'm only seeing people that have camera. But let me see if I can change that. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, now I see Allison, Claudia Hiron, Jonathan, and Denia. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Claudia Maria, how was your day today? It was very busy. I was in in meetings from eight thirty to four thirty. No, five thirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to to be on time with my duties I am working right now and you're still working yes but in my house okay mm -hmm. but the that's 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 good because because you don't have children. Yeah, she's a ventaja. <laughs> Advantage, yes. Advantage. When you have children, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see it that way. <laughs> yeah. I have let go of many good opportunities, job opportunities, very, very good job opportunities. But um, they want me to work, for example, from 12 noon till 9 at night or 10. And that's when I see my son. Uh -huh. So if okay. I take, yeah, because my, my son studies from in the kindergarten from 7 to 1. So when he's coming out, I am coming in. 
you know, I, I go in at 12, he comes in, uh, comes out at one and then I go out at uh, 10 at night and he's asleep. And I said, no, I don't want to be that. I, I prefer, I prefer my son's company. But if, if you're single, do it. <laughs> what about you, Bert? Mm -hmm. Well, how, how was your day today? Thanks. Mm -hmm. It was really productive, I think. And uh, it was good. I mean, I had a good communication. I mean, is I feel happy. I feel satisfied because I think it's the the English class is giving that you know the result. So I'm so glad. So because I mean, let me tell you this. I mean, again, I I, I think I already said this before, but it's really hard to be speaking with Americans. And it's really hard when you try to communicate ideas and or you want to understand. So now I feel really good because it was a really good and productive day, productive day. And it's awesome. I mean, I feel satisfied and I think there we go. I mean, it, it was good. It was a good day. That's good. That's good. Allison, are you there? Jonathan, are you there? Yes, teacher. How was your day today? Uh, it's, it was exhausted. Why? What did you do? Um, I went to visit uh, a friend. In other neighborhood, and we back. Volvimos, caminamos mucho. We walk um, a lot. We walk a lot. A lot. What, what was the walk? What? What was the walk? I mean, did you walk from? Mm. Okay, you mentioned that you walk a lot. So what from, did you walk kilometers? Did you walk from San Martin to Soyapango? From San Martin mm. to San Salvador? What, what, how much did you walk? Mm. To Santa Elena. From Santa Elena to uh, San Pedro, pero la pie. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's not that far from San Martin to Peru, la pie. It's not very far. It's near. Well, in car, it's like 10 minutes, no? Five, five minutes. Five minutes. Wait, is San Pedro, Peru, la pie, esa gran bajada? <sighs> no. I don't see it. I don't see that. Okay. What about you, Dania? How was your day today? Sorry. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. everybody. Hello. How was your day today? Hi. Uh, my day was actually my... Uh, I worked this week because the... Uh, start this class. I have a medical leave for twenty one days. Oh and, yeah, I remember. Um, how how are you? Yeah. Fine. Actually, it's not really hard, painful in my back. So it's not. It's a little bit. But the doctor indicated uh, take a break and give me twenty five, twenty one. Sorry, dates. Um, but this week, uh, I start started work, and, and was really uh, easy or no? Tranquilo. 
Um, easy day. Easy day. Um, start exercise. Only walk, walk. Only camino. Sí, walk. Um, mm -hmm. for around the my my city, my neighborhood. But it was um a normal day. Okay. How are you from your injury? Um, I don't know what you mean. Your injury, su, su fractura, your injury. Ah, okay. Um, it's, um, I don't have pain. I think that when I stay sit much time, I think that the hurt uh, go up. No sé si se dice así. <laughs> Va a parecer el dolor. Eh, cuando, when I stay much time sit, because I have only two days uh, started yesterday and today. So I don't have painful. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think the other week maybe, but I hope not because it's really uh, annoying and uh, stressful, the pain because uh, don't have a uh, other option like uh, change my position for seat and put a cojín. A pillow. No sé I guess the pillow and and that because don't have other uh, medicament. Medication. Medication only um, diclofenac and metocarbamol. <laughs> oh, okay. Only that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And Claudia Giron, you're back. Now you're yes, back. Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> From out of space. <laughs> they changed my, my schedule. <laughs> really? They already started changing your schedule? Yes, and now I'm working from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I had to wait the the bus that the company gave us. Wait, how are you working before? Uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., but it's a little bit hard that the schedule be, because I have wait, to spend from, from a lot 10, of hours. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.? No, from 6 p.m.? 6 a.m., sorry, to 4 p.m. It was the schedule that I had, but now I had from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do, you, do you like the schedule better? Mm, yes, because I slept a little bit more. But there's more traffic, right? No, just a, a little bit, and that's it. So now you're off at 6. Mm, yes, I woke up at 6 a.m. and I have to take the bus at 7, two hours. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, class, let's start. Let me see my... Let me share my screen. Open, open, open.
this we did yesterday. Okay. Do you see here it says, I want to give all my books away. I'm sorry, I want to give away all my books. So what do you think is the right one? Yes, I see the chart. The last one. You saw it. <laughs> so I want no, to... I mean... Uh, the the other options are not like don't make sense too accurate. Mm. Okay, so I want to give away all my books, which means I have to get boxes for them. Good. I saw the next one. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I see todas estaban hechas ya. I have locked my keys in the car, which is why you saw me opening it with a coat hanger. I'm what going. Is, to, what is that? A coat hanger. Yes, I, I, I know that coat is like, como un abrigo, something yes. like that. But hanger, do, I, I don't know. Do you have a closet? Uh, yes. When you put a shirt or a coat, you put it in a hanger, and you put it in the closet. Or. Did your mother ever hit you with a coat hanger? <laughs> no, she she preferred the the leather, the belt. The belt. Okay. <laughs> that that is a coat hanger. Now you understand what a coat hanger is. He was trying to like open it by teeth do. Yes. Okay. I'm going to repaint my room next week, which is why I've I've been saving all the newspapers. My son made a robot costume for himself, which is why he was covered in aluminum foil yesterday. Our neighbor saves her empty jars from my dad for my dad, which is great since he uses them for some nails and things in his workroom. Which Allah. my new cell phone can store and play music, which is great because I can listen to it while I am on the subway. It's easy to get lost when driving in a new city which is why personal navigation systems were developed for cars. Adam still listens to music on an old fashioned record player, which is strange since cassettes and CDs have been around for so long. Okay, so let me see, you finish the sentence, okay? So imagine I say, Claudia Maria, I, why, Imagine, okay? Why do you have paint on your face? Um... Because I am... I performance at uh... A soap opera. Okay, listen, don't complicate yourself. Just give like a simple example. So imagine you have paint in your face. So why do you have paint on your face? Because I'm going to act. Okay, you're going to act. Okay, so please say I'm going to act. That is why I have paint on my face. Please repeat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to act, mm -hmm. which means that is which, why that is why I have paint in my face. 
on my face. On my face. Okay. Good. Can you repeat it, please? I'm going to act, which is why I have paint in my face. On my face. On my, on my face. Good. So I'm going to act. That is why or which is why I have paint on my face. Good. Or you can say I was painting my house today. That is why I have paint on my face. There are many things, but that was a very good example. Claudia Giron. Claudia won. Why are you listening to sad songs? Mm, I'm listening to sad songs because I'm not feeling well. Okay, so say it backwards, please. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. That is why. That is why. I'm not feeling well. No, I'm not feeling well. That is why I'm not I'm listening to sad songs. Okay. Okay, um, Bert. Bert, why are you sweating? Jesus. Jesus. Alberto, Bert. Sorry. Oh, there, you go. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Why are you uh, sweating? Ah, because right now it's, it's hot. Okay, it's good. Really uh, hot. Okay, class. Pero el ejemplo que le estoy dando, quiero que me la, la, la historia completa. Oh, I am, in this moment, it's hot. That is why I'm sweating. Ah, oh, right now it's really hot. That is one which I am sweating. Very good. All right. So badly. Yeah. And I am from San Miguel. But uh, Ronald. Hi. Hello. Messi is the best player in history. <laughs> Messi is not the best player in history because there is a guy who is Cristiano Ronaldo. Are you serious? That is the guy I support. But honestly, okay. honestly, do you think Ronaldo is better than Messi? Maybe you he, like Ronaldo more. Yeah, okay, no problem. But do you No, think? I mean, what I like about him is that he has like, there's this, this term in English that I think it doesn't exist in Spanish that he appears in, in clutch moments, like difficult matches. And yeah. when the, the team needed him, he was there. He so is a leader. I like him, yes. And Messi, I would say, it's, I mean, he appeared, but not always. Like, he was the whole season playing good, but then he played again Bayer and all the good teams. And he just disappear sometimes. Okay. Cristiano never disappear. Okay. That is why. Cristiano that... never disappear. That is why Messi is not the best player in history. Okay, good. Allison, are you back? Yes, I am, teacher. Hi, Allison. Hi, teacher. 
Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just thinking of what to ask you. Okay. Uh, to, 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 to. I can I can give an example. Oh, thank you. You that would that would help me a lot. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Okay, I work from home. Uh, that's why I love my job. Awesome, beautiful example. Thank you. I work from home. That is why I love my job. Nice. All right. Dania, Jonathan, or Dennis, do you have one? Dennis, do you have an example? Uh, no, teacher, no yet. Okay. Um, many mothers are angry with Bukele. Dennis? Okay. Dania, are you there? Yes. Okay. Listen to my example. Okay. Ma many mothers are mothers, okay? And fathers, too, are angry with Bukele. Why do you think that is? Mm. Estoy pensando la respuesta. <laughs> I think in the answer about the this topic. Um, let me give you, let me help you. Oh, is it me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think the No, what's that? Use your imagination. Who can help, Dania? Yeah. Why do you think many mothers are angry with Bukele? I don't know, maybe because it's restricted. Oh, no. okay. Okay, it's good. Um, yes, go ahead, Dennis. Yeah, that's because there are several boys that has been taken to the jail because maybe there is a lot of different stuff that they were doing, a lot of activities or, or friendships that they their mother didn't know. So... Oh, they knew. They just pretended they didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so, um, Bukele is arresting all the gangsters, and when they get arrested, the mothers get very sad. That's why they're not happy with Bukele. Vieron una que no sé si era de aquí o de Guatemala que mataron a, al hijo de ella asaltando. Que si él solo asaltaba, él no mataba a nadie. Nah, serious? Yeah, yeah, you didn't see that video? <laughs> no, I didn't. She see. was crying that. What the hell? Él solo salía a asaltar, pero él no mataba a nadie. Cynism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I promise you, look for that video. It, it yeah, was this year. I... It was this year. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so um um the government is arresting all the gangsters. That is why there are many family members that are not happy with the president. Because maybe they have a family member arrested. Correct? So then yeah, that's how you that that's how yeah. you use that's how you use that is why. Okay, do you have any questions? Nope. All right. Let's do the listening.
Our technology report this evening is on making the world a smaller place. Linda? Thanks, Ted. These days, with college students studying in different cities or even abroad, families spread all over the world, and even more office employees working with overseas companies, people are looking for better ways to communicate with each other. Many people already use video calling with family, friends, and business associates, and as this technology continues to improve, even more people will be using this helpful communication tool. It used to be that video calling meant seeing unclear faces, hearing bad audio, and losing the internet connection. Now, the images are sharp, the sound is clear, and people stay connected for the entire call. People can communicate with each other as if they were in the same room, even though they are in faraway places. Additionally, video calling isn't just for computers. Many people are using video calling apps with their smartphones, making it even easier to connect anywhere, anytime. With this technology, the world gets smaller and smaller. Don't you think that's a good thing, Ted? I sure do. Thanks, Linda. This has been our technology report. So the woman, the woman says that more people. They are using video calling. To communicate online, right? Good. More people are able to use video calling because. Mm, the software has improved. The software has improved. Good. Today's video calling feature. A clear sound and pitch. Now let's listen to the student talk with the career counselor, then check true or false. Hi, Jenny. Please sit down. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm graduating soon, and I just can't seem to choose a career path to follow. I'm interested in so many things. That's a good thing. It means you have more choices. Now, I know that you're a person who is disciplined and motivated. Am I right? Yes. I like to work, and I'm good at budgeting my time. And let's see, you studied history and politics. Good. What about extracurricular activities? Well, I wrote some articles for the college newspaper, and last summer I volunteered at an archaeological site. That was fascinating. What did you do exactly? I helped tag the items that were found and enter them into a computer database. There was a lot of information to organize. So you are someone who is organized. Great. And you have a lot of patience. Yes, I would say so. An archaeological dig is not very exciting. It's interesting, but there's a lot of waiting and watching. Well, Jenny, have you considered being a reporter? You seem to enjoy writing, and your background matches up very well. I did enjoy writing for the college newspaper, but do you think I have the right qualities? Reporters need to be disciplined and motivated, like you. And your background in history and politics means you're informed about the world around you. Hmm, it seems like a good idea. I think you'd make an excellent reporter, and I have the names of a few local reporters for you to contact. You could talk to a few of them and maybe spend a day with one of them. You know, see what it's like. That sounds great. I'd love to do that. Here you go, and good luck. Keep me posted on your progress, okay? Okay, thanks. So Jenny is disciplined and motivated to work. It's true. Okay, it's true. Jenny majored in school history and politics. It's false. Jenny has never written for a newspaper before. 
is false. It's false. Jenny thinks archaeology is exciting. That's true. That's true. Okay. Do you know what archaeology is? Well, it's similar in Spanish. Yeah. Her counselor wants her to try news reporting. True or false? True. True. Let's see. Hey, they're all right. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, just on the edges. Did you finish this? No. 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 Okay, it says... Instructions, complete the sentence with the passive of the verbs in parentheses. Just type in the verbs in its correct form. No capital letter, letter is needed or period is needed. In the future, more online courses blank by people with busy schedules. The verb is take. What is the pass, uh, passive of take? Taken. Take Yes. Or so, taking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in the future, more courses will be taken virtually, which is happening now. I can't shut down my computer until all my files. Uh, will be downloaded. Have been. Are downloaded. Have been downloaded because remember, look what it says here. Complete the sentence with the passive of the verb. Oops. These days. These days, chat rooms blank by universities to hold students discussions. Are being used? used? Are being used. used. Are being used. Sam blank his dream job at an internet fam company offers have have been offered. What? Have been offered. Sam has been offered his dream job at an internet farming company. Okay. When I buy a new laptop, my old one will be recycled. Mm -hmm. Since blogging software became available, millions of blogs have been created. Do you watch blogs like Yanira Berrios? <laughs> Just for the fun. Do you like her? Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I just saw a meme that yeah. they they say I just come in here just for the to read the comments and laugh. Yeah. You know, um, she's very strange. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. Yeah, she's very strange, but she she's making money, so that's good. Good for her. Yeah. Good, all these tag questions. Remember the tag questions? So it would be great if someone figured out how to eliminate the spam. Wouldn't it? This is correct. This the sign is incorrect. I don't know how to say it. 
the apostrophe. Oh, the apostrophe. Yeah. Yes, you, you type it in Spanish. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I didn't do it, but what the hell? What in it? Oh. It seems like this kid, uh, this it it seems like kids spend too much uh, too much time playing computer games. That's in it. That's in it. Same mistake, right? The informational. I'm sorry. The information info. Blah. The infomercials on TVs are so annoying, aren't they? Do you know what is an infomercial? Commercial. Like the TV offers that has uh, something similar to a show, but to promote the, uh, the product. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Yeah, infomercial is like a commercial, but very long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Flyers aren't good for advertising. Are they? Uh, the fall. Hey, are they? Yes, are they? Are they? Mm -hmm. It's are they. I think they are. Are they? Flyers? Yes, because when you get to a mall and you get a flyer, you may have a different option for lunch or something you don't know, like a pizza. A dos por uno. To, oh, yeah. to buy one and perhaps you don't know that that day that pizza is in promotion so they are good advertising at least for me you know you know what is one advertising i don't understand when stores put music very loud outside the store but That's... music related to to the product or no they just, just put like like a donor or whatever you know and, and... Yeah, you see that that they put a very big speaker outside the store with Something loud music. Stop to watch, and there is a possibility that that those people buy something. No, oh, so, yeah, I understand, but I mean, what is the objective of putting loud music? Like just music, nobody speaking, only music. It's like. Hey, let's go by because that's good music. Mm. In which place does that? Watch everywhere, anywhere they do it. A store. Watch from now on. Remember me when you see somebody playing music outside. Now there are some people that have somebody talking, like "Hola, cómo están? Buenas tardes." Sí, hola, hola, hola. Okay, that uh, at least they're speaking. But there are some some um businesses that they just put loud music and it says part of I hate getting spams don't you do you know what spam is well I think it's the, the word is the same in Spanish right yep the same yeah it's a spam you know that I hate that uh, every time I comment on YouTube or any other social net media, mm -hmm. I get a notification on my email and I don't know how to turn it off because it just, when you click on the link, it redirects you to a different uh, page and I don't, and it requires to fill out uh, those charts with your username and, and passwords and I don't know my passwords, so I always end up getting them. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, if somebody's asking you for a password, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a password. 
No, I mean, for example, if you want to turn off the uh, Facebook uh, notifications on your email, mm -hmm. you must log in to turn it off. Oh yeah, that's true. But, but I don't, I don't remember my passwords. I just get them on a notebook, and every time I need to use them, I, I take a look. But otherwise, I don't, I don't know them. So I always get those spams and and that's no i mean the only notifications i like are the the ones you get every time you spend money because that's that's useful but do you have an android do you have an android phone or or, or iphone i got you can, I have you can to... <laughs> sorry you can reset your password if you have access to your email mm -hmm. No, but but I mean the notifications I get are from different sites, so it's kind of boring to do all of that because I have, for example, Reddit notifications or Twitter or I'm not sure. Oh, wait, wait, but you, you get notifications on your email or on your computer? like On my email. Then Besides go... the one I get from the app. Go to the bottom where it says unsubscribe. But it requests you to log in to do that sometimes. Yeah, and you can also reset your password using your email. Mm -hmm. mm, I'll try. No, but do uh, you have... Do... In a incognite, incognite uh, tab? Uh, incognito. Yes. Okay. If you enter it from a computer or your cell phone in Chrome, and uh, you try to to access to your Facebook account account, you can click on Oh, I forgot the password, and Facebook will ask you if you want to reset the password from the email. Yes, uh, I I'll I'll try. Thank you. Do you have iPhone or Android? I use the iPhone. Oh, that's why. No, I, I mean I prefer to use the the Android uh, for watching movies or or Netflix because the charge is better. And I use my phone for working. I I have to be like. Mm, awake or o sea, pendiente del teléfono. Mm -hmm. How can I say that? Yeah, I have to be uh, look on the lookout. On the lookout, okay, for any message from my boss, or so that's why I prefer to use the the other one for watching movies and this one for working could be. The reason why I ask you regarding the Android is because if you have Gmail, there's like Gmail automatically records your um passwords. But but I think that that could be it's dangerous because of I mean nobody's gonna hack me, but people don't recommend that. Uh no, Gmail don't do that out automatically. It's just if you can configure it. Yeah, but like for example, if I change, like if I change, um, if I change telephones in this moment, and I open a new one, and I open my Google account, so every time I open like Facebook, the, I, I'm installing the apps again. And it says uh, Facebook, and I put my username, and automatically my it records everything. For example, Banco, but my my that's my. Not why, uh, he's asking for his password. It's for uh, change the settings of notifications of email. Notifications. No, he, no, I understand, but he says that the he, the he has to put his password in. And he doesn't. He forgets it. Yeah, that's the he problem. Has a, um, he's he has a session. He can. Uh, he has access to Facebook. But when you try to configure uh, some settings, 
uh, Facebook asked to ask for the password again, mm, just yeah. to confirm that you are. Yeah, it's, a, sec it's a security are... measurement. Yes. But you know what? One thing, Jonathan, I worked in Google five years. And you know that Google has never been hacked. The Google Cloud has never been hacked. You were working at Telus. Yeah. But we were working directly with the Google. So I remember that, you see, Google, what they want, they want the cloud. That's the future. That is why computers now, they don't have a lot of memory, hard drive memory. So like if you buy a Google notebook, the notebook can be maybe eight RAM and the memory mm -hmm. can be, I don't know, 80 gigabytes. And people say, hey, because they, they want the cloud. So I remember when my team, when we would sell the cloud, that was the number one thing everybody says, no, I don't trust my information in the cloud, et cetera, et cetera. And until this day, Google has never been hacked. iPhone has, Apple has. That's Is strange. It's true that to be in that account, you must know like DNS settings and all of that. No, many people say that to be in Google, you have to be tech. Not really. There is, Google is complete. I mean, I, in the, where I was, we didn't see anything tech related. Uh, we were business. We were marketing. There's marketing, there's sales, there's tech support. SOCA, I own tech support. There's uh, customer support. There's everything, but not only... <clears throat> That's why many people are afraid. No, I can go, I can saber mucho. Yes and no. Depends on where you're going. But I was in marketing. Um, do you know what Equifax is? I heard about it, the Equifax. They, they use a Google service for instead, instead of uh, Microsoft 365. Okay. So instead of Excel, they use Sheets. Google Sheets. Instead yeah. of Word, Word, they they use Google Docs. Google Docs, yeah. I prefer and, I prefer Microsoft Office. I, I prefer yeah. Excel and Sheets. It's almost but, the same though. Uh, Google has, for example, the laptop from Google, name. Chromebooks, they are not too. They're not good. Too, they are not too um, pesadas. I don't Heavy. know how to say that. Heavy. Um. Uh, yeah, but in the way that they cannot support too much because, uh, for example, for 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 the, um, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to explain it in English. Um. Uh, support like for, a like a program or, for or people, memory. Yeah, for programmers and uh, and people that works with their big databases and big data mm -hmm. is not uh it's 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 not too good to work from a Chromebook. Yeah, it's no. for business for have meetings to for manage your schedule. That's why I think Chromebooks are not, eh, no fueron tan, no, no tuvieron tanto pegue. No, no tuvieron, pero de hecho, creo que el marketing fue malo porque Chromebook, they were never meant to be for industrial use. They were actually meant to be like for students. They are, at the they beginning. are a tablet. Hmm? They have yes, Android yes. and you have to, to do everything from Chrome. Yeah, that was the objective. It was pretty much going to be a notebook. And many people didn't like it. And I think the next step was going to be a, a, a better notebook with with what you're explaining. Yeah. For example, for business people, uh, they have to keep their information wherever yeah. their, their goal. The, the their, thing their, is... The thing is, Google, they give those for free in the States, in the United States. 
Maybe that's why they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't make them so expensive. Like everybody in almost everybody in the United States has a, a Google Chromebook because it was given for free. And yeah. um mm -hmm. yeah. The I remember that in Telos we had um bueno verdad que la, las escuelas públicas aquí es un Chromebook que les han dado. I know it's a Dell, it's Dell, right? Yes, it's um, they have windows in in the United States. Um, I think every student gets one for free. Public student, uh, Chromebook. Porque está Dell Education. So they win a, a contract with the government. No, I'm they're yeah they uh -huh, and but they're very smart because imagine they're teaching how kids many, how many Chromebooks they sell. <laughs> yes, I, I I understand now. Yeah, no, because no, it's not that. But imagine what what Google really wants. Okay, so the biggest competition of Google is Microsoft, and um, yeah. In fact, what I did, I had to call like um. Do you know how Google makes their money? Mm, not sure, but they sell. A loud space. Yeah. And but the the majority of the money they make is from Adver no, advertisement. No. Advertisement, yes, but they also make money from companies. Like for example, let's say Concentrix. Concentrix.com, the domain. I don't know if it's maybe Concentrix has the 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 contract with Google or Microsoft. Do you guys use Google Sheets or or Excel? I use Excel, but I can also know how to use. No, but Google in your in your job, do you have an email from your we office? Use, we use Microsoft. Oh, okay, good. And so, so then you have the contract with Microsoft, but there are many many companies that have the contract with Google, and um, there you know, like imagine. Like your company, let's say Allison's. So what happens is Allison, your company has five thousand employees. Yes, and you call me. I am Google, and I tell you, okay, Allison, what do you want? And you tell me, I have five thousand employees, and I need four thousand employees to have an email, access to an email. A todo eso estoy hablando con el IT de Allison, right? Oh, okay. And they sell, they sell uh, license. Excuse me? They sell license for the software. License, yes. And and mm -hmm. then as Google, they ask, okay, and what privileges? Oh, I just want them to have basic, only email. Some will have chat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Depending on the privileges, that's how much they charge. But it's, it's around... 10 to $15 per person. So can you imagine a company of 15,000 people and and cada uno está pagando $10 per person, the company? So it's, it's a lot Just of Just for the basics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Google is you pretty... They have Google Drive and the other things in the many space. Mm -hmm. uh, they pay. They pay more. Yes. So Google, they, they, uh, they, um, the reason why they give free, free, um, Chromebooks to the public schools is because you want these kids a que se acostumbren or get used to using Google Documents. I imagined everybody here, todos empezamos usando Microsoft Office, correct? Yes. So it was very difficult when, not very, for me it was difficult because when I started in Google, me costó adaptarme a Google Documents. Hmm. You know, the, the change. Here's or, the same. It's almost the same, yes, but there are some, some things that are different. The same format. 
for the while. Okay, it's the same format, but the, the objective is that Google, what they want is for people to get uh, Google documents, like part of their life. Es como cuando la gente, hey, voy a buscar el significado de eso, se mete a Google, right? Nadie se mete a... Yes. Uh, on Safari. Uh -huh, yeah. But nowadays, the, there are some some people that uh, are using Bing because Bing has incorporated a IA. Allison, I understand, but this is because it's your it's your ground, it's su campo. When you say some people, it's people that you know. But if you ask, if you ask Angela, if you ask Ronald, if you ask the majority of the people, they all use Google. I mean, we, we're speaking generally. Yes, I'm not saying Google is the best. I'm not saying it's the worst. I'm just saying it's in general. It's like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is like... But they, they, they did a big announcement. Mm -hmm. And after that, some days, two or three days later, Google announced that they they also have a... a, a AI. 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 Okay. And, and once again, this is because it's your it's su campo, right? I, I I imagine that the majority of people ni sabían que Bing sacó eso. Y solo lo oyeron de Google. Aunque Bing lo sacó primero. You know, that's what I'm saying. Because Google ya es una palabra, como decir Uber. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that in driver, it's that bolt, but people just say Uber because it's the most recognized. And how does the AI uh, in how does the AI how is the AI reflected in Google? Because I didn't know yeah. and I didn't notice it. Yeah, that's a good a, question. Uh, other, 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 uh, I don't know, buscador. I don't know how to say buscador. Search uh, engine. Yeah, search engine. So there's another search engine for Google? Uh, that's curious because on the United States, uh, it's, it's more common because my, uh, I forgot how to say prima. Cousin? <laughs> my cousin, uh, the, he, she works uh, for marketing mm -hmm. and they use, uh, they they use uh Bing now instead oh. of Google, and it's another a uh, field. You okay. know the one I I hate is that, uh, like Apple dev devices, they force you to use that that searcher, uh, Safari. I hate it. It's it's too slow. And sometimes when it's not working well. I look for the the software software update because you cannot like uninstall the app and sometimes I prefer using Google. It's way better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, some people will have different pre preferences. But what I'm saying is, gen in general, Allison may think different, okay? But um, as the moment until now, maybe Google is the most popular search engine. I don't know next year. I don't know in the future. But that's what I, I'm talking about. People that we're a little ignorant to technology. We just know the basic or the intermediate. But everybody automatically just says Google. But um, that's that's something new. I, I did not know that Bing has artificial intelligence. There's it, even a Google is a verb, right? Yeah, Google's a verb now. Google it. Google is, but yeah, you know. So what I'm saying is that maybe there are search engines better than Google, maybe. Que sean mejor, but okay. maybe not more popular. Yet, mm, oh. yes, Google is the most pop popular, but everybody have forgot forgotten it, it that being exists. Yeah, that's what happened with Internet Explorer when it first came out. 
when Google first came out, it was very difficult for people to do that transition. Now, Either... that it's, now it's Edge. Yes, now it's Edge. Oh, yes, Edge now. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, it's a que yo no caro. you know, the first thing I, I downloaded was Uber. Porque I didn't know, primero que empezó a usar Uber, because it's, it's marketing. This is what I had. And then I realized that tanto said Uber, InDriver is better, <laughs> it's faster. So now I use InDriver, but if you ask people- I think it's more insecure, but it depends because if you see something strange, you, you have to pay more attention on your, on your uh, travel. And what? Uh, I don't, um, I heard that uh, Google, Google InDrive uh, is más inseguro. It's more, in, I don't know if insecure is the correct word. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Uber is, is safer. I don't agree. Because like I told you, I, this last month, I have used both. Every day I use them. And yeah, but... Allison, you like you like to fight. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I like. I, but I, I, I just I, I want you to understand one thing, though. I am not speaking personally. I think you are. I am speaking in general. So I am speaking with as an experience. You said that you heard. If you heard, then you are taking the action that because you heard, that's the correct thing. So it's not safe. So but I, people I, have that love. In, in driver yes let me explain and... let me explain why i heard go ahead, that go ahead. i i heard that too that in driver wasn't very good and blah 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 blah. but when i started using in driver they they ask you for your picture the your name well they ask you for many things and now you see the person that's going to come for you so it's very similar to uber so when i am in the in the car i talk to the drivers and I tell them porque in driver tiene mala rep repetition like a bad repetition reputation and then they told me because before when in driver started one two years ago when it started getting big 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 the app didn't have many a lot of security solo lo pedía uno carro boom you didn't know anything yo me quedaba en serio hmm. yes so, as un motorista me dijo, en serio, ya, ya le piden la foto a uno y todo. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's new. So, I guess now, InDriver is, has more security now. I don't know before, but from what the, the drivers tell me that before, yes, it wasn't very, very safe because the, the app was very simple. It wasn't. Era bien simple. ¿no? Vaya a tal persona, you don't know who, when, how, no como Uber. But now in driver tiene eso. Yo nunca conocí en driver cuando estaba, que ellos decían, por eso es lo que digo. It's, it's pretty much the same. Now in Uber, you see who's going to pick you up. You see the route, you see everything. Now you see that in in driver too. But people told me that before, como repito, in driver no tenía eso. So I, I that I don't know. Y si era así, no lo hubiera usado. Después de usar Uber, que verdad. So I guess it's the competition. And um, the reason why I think in driver is but do you know why in driver is better in, hasta cierto punto? Because um the drivers in El Salvador, the motoristas, they don't like Uber anymore because Uber les quita el 40% de la carrera, creo. Y a InDriver les quita el 10%. So, toda, mucha gente está dejando de usar Uber y se está yendo a InDriver. Ahora, no es que le estoy dando publicidad a InDriver, pero de experiencia es que en mi casa, cuando pedía Uber, en 15 minutos viene, like, oh man, 15 minutes. Pedí un in-driver en dos minutos están. 
because there are more people using InDriver now. Now, que es mejor que Uber? I still think Uber is better. I have a question. Yes. Uh, uh, does InDrive is cheaper? Does, no, no, sorry. Is InDrive cheaper than Uber? You know, that's a good question. Sometimes, because like, for example, where I live to Metro Centro, it's around four to five dollars. Yes. So if yo siempre hago lo mismo, lo pido en los dos just to check. Sometimes Uber me cobra four fifty. And sometimes in driver charges me five dollars. Now, the only difference is that with in driver, I can negotiate a in cuatro. Just an example, I can put four dollars. And if somebody accepts me, then boom, or, or, or they offer me, okay, four fifty. <laughs> you you can negotiate in Uber. You can't. So that's that's one benefit, but an in driver. <laughs> the the it's funny how how some people request like a, a luxury car and they they want to pay like two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Hablando con ellos, hey, mire me, esa gente que a veces dicen por un dólar. <laughs> A Santa Tecla, really? No, come on, I guess it's just those. The only thing I don't like about Uber is like, okay, like right now, Allison, imagine in this moment, I want to go to Metro Centro. So I go Uber, me dice $4. In driver, me dice $5. Let's say I take Uber, $4, okay? But if there is a lot of traffic, cuando llega Metro Centro, it's not four dollars anymore. Maybe it's six because of oh the traffic. So, in driver is few. You know what I hate about Uber is that every when you are in in the rush time, it's mm -hmm. way it's more expensive. It could be expensive. like the other the other day I was in Metro Centro mm -hmm. and I had to go back home and like the the fee could be six or seven dollars from metro to to my house but the other day i was like it was like 5 p.m and that time it was 22 dollars from 20, metro to my home 22 dollars yes because it was 5 p.m and and there's like little letters and and they say the fee could be different due to the demand and the, the hour, but it was too expensive. Yeah, that's twenty-two dollars. I could go to the beach with yeah. with that fee. And you know one thing, um, when I talk to the drivers, I think Uber is very bad with the employees. So Uber se enfoca más en el cliente que en el empleado. That it's good and bad, bad for the people. And um, that's why, um, eso de verdad, créeme que todos los días tomaba en la mañana y en la tarde Uber o InDriver. So hablé casi con todos y lo mismo me decían todos. Me decían, no, y ellos mismos me decían, porque a veces los mismos trabajan para los dos, Uber y InDriver. Y de ellos mismos me decían, mire, pida InDriver, hoy todos, nos, todos están por, por la situación, pues Uber les cobra mucho. So imagine five dollars. Voy a perder dos cuarenta por esto. Aquí solo pierdo un dólar. I rather go for the dollar. Entonces por eso es que a veces cuando cuando ustedes piden un Uber y le dice en quince minutos llega y saben qué es lo que me cae mal que a veces pueden pedir ese Uber y en quince minutos y uno lo está esperando y, y ya faltan como seis siete y cancela el motorista. Como, eh, no. Y le vuelve a buscar otro. Mm. Hay otro cerca en 18 minutos. It's like, oh, man. And you know, sometimes five minutes is a very big difference in the morning when you go to work. So, I don't know. <laughs> If you ask me in driver or, 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 or call it out, Uber, I prefer Uber, but InDriver is faster. 
So next time, next time, um, Jonathan, try try Uber. I'm sorry, try InDriver. Y dicen que hay otro, Bolt. There's another one. I don't know. But anyway, so what we're talking, what were we talking about this? Oh, because about um, the Google thing, it's in general, is 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 the marketing. I I think marketing is is a very big. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that restaurants don't have the name anymore? Like when you see Pizza Hut. You don't see Pizza Hut. You just see the house, the hut. McDonald's. You don't see McDonald's. You see the M. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yanni, you don't even see Kentucky Fried Chicken. You just see the old man. So it's like marketing. Hmm. Yeah. Puede haber uno mil veces mejor, pero es fascinante el mercadeo. Como... Como le meten uno en la cabeza el, el, el ¿cómo se llama? La, la marca. Yeah, so it, it, it's very interesting. So maybe now the quality is totally different. Like Allison says, maybe Bing is better. I, I want to see that. I'm going to check that out tomorrow. That's interesting. But, but, but when it comes to marketing, no van a debancar tan fácil. Right now, Google. Um, let, what is another example like? Like me, Kentucky Fried. I prefer Kentucky Fried Chicken to Pollo Campero. I don't know about you, pero it's it's difficult mm -hmm. to uh, debancar oh. Pollo Campero, man, in El Salvador. Yes, it's true. Because I think it because of the tradition, people just say no, pollo campero, pollo campero, pollo campero. Or like Pizza Hut. Ya han comido la una pizza que está por el por el el más Ferrer. What's the name of that pizza? La Siciliana. Clásica. La clásica, yes, yeah, la clásica. Oh, man. That pizza is so good. It's like this. It's like only cheese. If you compare that pizza with Pizza Hut, mil veces mejor la clásica. Pero, in marketing, bueno, imagínense, ni el nombre me acordaba. <laughs> la clásica. So in marketing, no, if you ever want pizza, go there. It's very, very good. It's a very good pizza. Okay. Um, I will see you tomorrow. We'll finish this tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. 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 Have a wonderful day and night. Simply. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Happy night. Bye.